hi guys how are you hope you are fine hope you are good welcome welcome back to my channel my good name is an annex i'm a pipenda mama shani for the returning subscribers welcome back to my new subscribers feel at home feel much welcome na msikia mkiwa home so it's yet yet another time another video ya fail it's a continuation of the gap life still in the gap life and today today hope the video will be clear last time i did a video that i couldn't write and i think i voted but hopes today the the writing will do me justice so i'm here in the kitchen but before i continue with my work let me first do this video then i continue with my work so today as you have seen on the title i want to talk about someone asked a question of how i survived being a camboy so let's talk about how to survive in gaf being a camboy put it specific on qatar and in saudi arabia let's tackle those two countries because those are the countries that i have gone and i have survived sijawaishi kwa mimi mwenyewe ndio unjipeleka deportation and sorry there is a person who commented that she doesn't understand swahili and doesn't understand kikuyu i'm so sorry for that i hope i answered your question how you wanted it so for today we're going just to talk about how how to survive being a runaway or being a camboy that is the word that we use let's start let's start with saudi arabia because this is where a big percentage of girls are are doing the camboy life uh surviving with the camboy life how do you survive with this camboy life one thing one tip that i'll give you once you learn a way and you start working outside just make sure you are very hard working just make sure you are very very hard working usway goja when you go to work remember this is not your sponsors house is another house they will take you yani they will take you as much they will appreciate you much the more you work hard you see so just be that someone wa kujituma that person that tell herself i need to do this i need to clean here i need to do this don't ever let waigoro come tell you that you are supposed to do this just be that person sharp sharp kama una na fridge ni chafu just panguza kama una na nguo zijapigwa pasi wewe ndo upige everything just do everything under your own control don't let the way goro control you and don't let we goro to push you to work that is tip number one be very hard working the second tip i want to say always ensure that you have somewhere you can go always ensure that you have a house that anything can happen to the way goro house this is not your sponsor's house this person can throw you outside anytime so just have a somewhere just have a home that you can go just have a room that you can go and a room that you are comfortable in you see anytime we go mnaweza kosana na wigoro usi mwa usi kafiri wako anaweza kurusha nje anytime any hour regardless hata kama ni usiku atakurusha nje so always having that place that hata nikirushwa nje leo nita i'll take a taxi na nitaenda kwa hao So usikuwe don't be these girls that once you are hosted by a person ukishaenda kwa wigoro you are like i will not come back for jaza i just stick in the house i don't want to pay rent don't be like that always have that mentality that wigoro can no matter how good the family is no matter how caring they are to you there is that one day that shetani uingia and you find yourself being kicked out so always have a shelter outside that you can go The other thing is always have this dalala the people who find for you work always have maybe at least two two good people that you know hata nikikosa nikitoka job huko at least i call them they will be able to connect me with work very fast don't be that girl that when you get out of a house umemaliza job that house and don't feel like going back you just want to stay in the house like a month doing what my friend this is not your country always have that person that can connect you to work as fast as possible at a, even if you want to rest maybe two days and the that day you are at work always have that person that have work each and every time 
so the next thing sorry for that a message got to my phone the next thing always have cash with you hata kama unatuma do kila time nyumbani don't always send pesa zote nyumbani anything's happen shit's happen here out so always make sure you have money with you it's, it doesn't matter that it's end month umetuma do zote kenya just always back share yourself even if it's a hundred bob a hundred vr saudi so that once you have that money even if you go to the house some things happen and you have money to pay the taxi and you have maybe the money to go to the house and take care of yourself for two days and go back to work the other thing always have that specific person i just say specific because this is what i did for me always that have that specific person that for taxi that anytime you can call him and come and pick you the person that knows if you pass here kuna tra, kuna is a checkpoint if you go yeah you just have a driver that is very keen with the roads and he can make sure that at at 3 a.m this person will just call him and he'll come and pick you i think this is the fifth the fifth point this point goes hand in hand kama uko katal kama uko saudi this point goes hand to hand with each other so the other point is what is the other thing mm-hmm. i've talked about mm-hmm. the other thing is mbona zinapotea mbona zinapotea the other point is okay talking about the money the reason why i'm saying ubakisha pesa you can go to a house to madam's house and you find you don't have they don't have wifi or they refuse to connect you to the wifi so you need this extra money to buy for yourself bundle so that you can get connected to your family and to the friends in case of anything you have some credit with you in the phone this point the last point i'll talk with the girls what were bees unajua <laughs> what i mean by that if you are there outside and you are that that bees person always make sure you don't host so so many girls in your house if it's to host just host two girls you and the other girl because once you go you get to be so many girls in the house you know what happens the setup and if you are those people for bees don't give out your location don't yeah me i know people there are those girls that once their location is bad they will always come and give out your location and shit happen and you are got caught by the police so don't give out your locations and don't host so many girls in your house the other thing is once you are going out you are working as a housemaid and kwakem boy once you are going out always make sure the bag you are carrying it doesn't matter mnaenda na wigoro mnaenda na nani you just make sure that you have all your money with you you have your document with you you have your money with you usiwe enda uko nje kama umeacha pesa zako kwa igoro kama simu yako umeacha kwa igoro kama charge yako umeacha kwa always make sure you carry all your document with you everything about you always carry it with you the other thing is what about what is the other thing once you are going out try to dress different unaona usiende kama umevaa tubo cut umevaa tight imekushika trouser imekushika once umeenda huko nje you have umepatana na karao it will be very hard for them to kuachilia but ukienda tu i think sije kama mnaweza wana mwana venye sahihi nimeva it doesn't mtu anaona hata nikitoka kwa barabara everyone knows that i'm shagara venye nimeva tu unaona ah huyu anafanya kwa madam so it is be very easy for me to be, to be let go rather than if i'm dressed in a katubo cut 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 tight and everything so those are the points that you should always be very very keen about and the other, the last point is always get ready always if you na pack if you are buying something just buy if you feel like today i want to buy this don't postpone buy it and pack it that time and always have that person that ukiza shikwa this person can send you baggages with cargo back kenya i think that is those are the points that i had for today and i hope you enjoy the runaway the kemboy this is our year me i'm not kemboy right now i'm in the house but for those who are kemboy who have kemboy in 2023 use those tips and see how you'll survive in this gap country and always make sure that we are not that person to 
unapenda don't don't do a lot of parties by the way don't do a lot of parties don't do a lot of walking outside kama ni job waenda job rudi kwa hao chukua ijaza yako safi lala amka lala amka then the that day unarudi kwa waiguru na chapa kibarua if you be that person but if you be those people sijui leo mko huku party sijui next weekend you are here it's white party sijui zia where my friend hii maisha ni ngumu so stay your life stay calm peace na jipende sana so till next time it was the girl and i'm next